Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD7044. So today, guys, we'll do my Asian Cup 2023 final preview. So remember, guys, the final is going to take place on Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned for that. And, of course, there'll be a live reaction on the channel following that. So please please subscribe to get notified whenever we go live. And, of course, I will be doing a live reaction to the final after it ends. So what an achievement for both teams, man, to make the final. Because both these teams... At the beginning of this tournament, we're not expected to make the final. I think for many of us, for Jordan, many of us expected them to bow and end the round of 16. Some of us even had them the group stage exit, which I did, which I completely and I apologize for. That was a terrible prediction for my end. I will never do that again. And then for Qatar, many of us said, okay, semis at most, right? Because they had, didn't have to play against any of the top Euro, uh, Asian countries until like the semifinals, you know? And the fact that they actually managed to beat both powerhouses like Iran and South Korea, respectively, both these teams is pretty impressive because we were supposed to have Iran, South Korea as our final. Instead, we got the underdog final. We got Qatar versus Jordan, right? Obviously, Jordan had never won the Asian Cup before in their history. This is the best run they've ever done in their history. And for Qatar, of course, as we all know, they're the defending Asian Cup champions. They had won the previous edition 2019. I'm looking to do back-to-back -back, and, of course, they're the host nation for this tournament. So what I think is going to be very, very interesting is how the how will the players' minds be before this game? Because this is such a monumental game. For both these countries here because both these countries can create history here jordan by winning the first ever asian cup and their history would be amazing and this will probably be one of jordan's best ever achievements in football in general and whereas for qatar if they could do back to back that would be a huge statement huge huge statement and they could be level on teams with have already won like i think south korea and iran sorry south korea have won two asian cups they could literally match south korea's asian cups if they win this edition so uh, that's insane that's actually insane, and back-to-back editions. -back so my thing is that there's a lot of history in the making here for both these teams. There's also a lot of narratives. Can Qatar actually do? Can Qatar actually show up and show and prove that they're this good nation that was we expect them to be in the World Cup? Because if they win this, it would basically mean that they're a good team and that the World Cup was just too hard for them, right? And then obviously for Jordan, if they could beat the host nation and also defending champions, that would make them a very impressive champions and maybe. The best uh, best underdog we've had in a long time. So there's a lot of narratives in that. And that's what makes this final so interesting is that this final, there's so much writing on the line here when it comes to story making. I think what's going to be very crucial in this game is that first goal. I think whichever team scores that first goal, they have to build on the momentum. Because if the team doesn't, if the team just sits back and allows the other team to dominate, they're going to concede. They're going to concede. And the thing is, with both these teams, I'm not so convinced defensively. Now, I will say that I am more convinced defensively with Jordan than I am with Qatar. I think Jordan defensively looked a lot more sure. Uh, but at the same time, though, that defense, even though they had a great defensive display against South Korea, South Korea were very, very poor in the game. South Korea were very, very poor. You know, and I don't think like I don't think Tajikistan really challenged them. You know, and we saw how Iraq were able to come from behind against. Uh, Jordan. So I do think this Jordan team defensively, while they are solid, I don't think it's as good as we make them out to be. Qatar, on the other hand, defensively looked very shaken throughout the tournament. I think they haven't kept a clean sheet at all in the knockout stage. Where, so that's that makes me a bit concerned, right? And obviously, I know the group stage they kept three clean sheets, but let's be real, the group stage opponents were pretty easy. Like China, Lebanon, Tajikistan didn't really offer much fight. Whereas for Jordan, they had a much tougher route. They had to play against South Korea, Bahrain, and Malaysia. So it's going to be interesting. So how do I think the game is going to pan out? I think Qatar is going to hold the most of possession. I think Qatar is going to hold around 60 to 50 to 60 percent possession, uh, 55 to 60. And I think Jordan is going to be relying on the counterattack. I think Qatar will do their play through possession-based football, and I think uh, Jordan is going to be doing all their play through counterattacks. And I think the key for Jordan is they have to take their chances because while this team is very clinical, while this team is very lethal and the counterattack, this team isn't really clinical. As we saw against South Korea, they could have, they should have won that game three or four. They should have won that game like four or five now. Like the fact they only won two nil is bad. I, obviously, I, maybe, I know this is kind of harsh to say, but it's kind of bad to only score two goals from the map from how dominant they were because they should have scored more than two goals, right? I mean, that kind of sense, right? And so for Jordan, the key for them is to make sure they score first because I'm not sure if they can equalize in a hostile atmosphere in the final against Qatar. Because the whole, we all know the fans will be majority Qataris. We all know the majority of fans will be Qataris. So I think what's going to happen is this. I think the game is going to end nil-nil at halftime. 
I think Jordan will score a goal out of nowhere. I think Al Tarami Al Nemich will score a goal out of nowhere to make it one nil. Then I have a feeling that Qatar will equalize in the 80th minute. Um, Jordan will miss a lot of chance, and then Qatar will just score out of no, and the Qatar will equalize for a set piece. And I think the game, I think, and I think Qatar will going to have a lot of. They're going to continue to pressure the Jordanian defense, and I think Jordan's going to try to be defensive because um, all the momentum is going to be with Qatar. And I think they'll take it at penalties. And I just have a feeling that Qatar is going to win some penalties. I just have the feeling that Qatar is going to win some penalties because Jordan haven't had really good penalty experience before in the past. And if I, I think I was doing some research. The last time they actually went to a penalty shoot in a competitive game was against Japan in 2004. And they lost that one, um, even though they should have probably won that one because of how comfortable the position was. You know, it was a bit of a controversy. But I think for uh, for Qatar, man, it's going to be interesting. Like, you know, Akram Afif, Almoz Ali has to step up. And obviously for Jordan, Al Tarami, Al Naiman have to step up. And Jordan do have two players coming back for suspension, which I think could be very good. I think it's Oswald and Ayin. These mean very crucial players. And so it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. And even if even if Jordan loses this file, I think Jordan should Jordan fans should feel proud, proud because this is the best that Jordan ever done in their history. They have not done this well before in their history in football. And so this would be a great, great achievement. The, I think the closest was like 2014, where they almost qualified for the World Cup. They lost the intercontinental playoffs too. I think it was Uruguay. Uh, it was like 5 mil aggregate, I think. So, yeah, for Jordan, man, I hope they can do this because I want Jordan to win this. But I just think that Qatar, they're going to have more experience in this final. And I think, I just think that Jordan, man, I just feel like for me, I just don't know if they're going to be that clinical. You know, that's my worry with them. It's like Qatar is a team that's clinical. Qatar is a team that's clinical. You give them a few opportunities, they're going to score the goals. They're going to score the goals. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Obviously, Al Haidos is also going to be very crucial as well. I'm interested to see how long he plays this game because obviously we've seen the recent games. He hasn't played the full games. So it's going to be very interesting, guys. So like I said, guys, uh, that's going to pretty much be it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this preview. Please run a like and subscribe, of course, if you're new out here, guys. Um, and yeah, let's get up to 20 likes, man. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. So please run a like and subscribe. Check out the other podcast description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. And if there's any major talking points, please let me in the comments below. I'm sure there probably is. All right, peace out, guys.